Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My dear students of the course Biopharmaceutics and Pharmacokinetics 2, third year Ajman University. Uh, this is part two of uh, the topic calculation of bioavailability parameters. Uh, we talked about uh, the calculation of Ka. Ka is an indication of the rate. And now we are going to, do, to talk about the calculation of F, which is an indication of the extent. Okay. Uh, previously, what we got was uh, V على F or F على V, اللي هو uh, volume of distribution divided by the bioavailable fraction. Okay. Uh, instead of using the residual method or Wagner-Nelson method to look at F, we can do it by, or we can look at F, اللي هو the bioavailable fraction, by comparison between maybe uh, two formulations of the same drug. يعني عنا two different formulations, for example, two brands or two uh, products of the same drug, and we can calculate F based on that. Is and based on comparison. Is an F can be calculated based on comparison. Okay. Now, we can do that using plasma data. Or we can do it using urine data. If you remember in your biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics one, uh, you took uh, a topic uh, about bioavailability and you learn that we can use, for example, AUC, we can use urine, uh, amount of drug excreted in the urine, or we can use the pharmacodynamic effect, or we can use uh, ASH, uh, uh, in vitro data from the solution, uh, or we can use clinical effect, okay? So here we will be talking about the calculation of F by comparison, Using two methods, اللي هو one, اللي هو حكينا plasma data. يعني you are giving a drug, and then you are uh, getting uh, the concentrations, and from there you are doing some calculations. If you remember, we talked about AUC, and AUC is equal to F dose. Okay. Divided by the clearance, اللي هو KEL PV. Okay? So the idea is to give a product, okay, and calculate, to give a product, and يعني administer a, drug, a product to a subject, and then calculate the AUC of that product, and then compare it to another uh, uh, product of the same drug using the same patient. If you remember, or the same subject, if you remember in your biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics one, we have what we call crossover design. Yani we are using the same person to administer a test product and a reference product. Okay? طيب, uh, if we take F outside, uh, خلينا ال F لحالها, alone, KL will go here, it will be multiplied by AUC, will V will be multiplied by AUC, and then divided by those. This is what you will get. So for one product, A, okay, product A, and product, the other product uh, B, if I divide, because I said we can calculate F by comparison, so if we divide the, the uh, bioavailability of one product by the other one, usually this one is the reference product, then this is what I will get. KEL في V في AUC divided by those for product A. Now I can multiply and reverse the uh, uh, parameters here. So it, I can do it instead of divide, I will multiply it by those divided by KEL. Uh, B في V B في A U C B. Okay. طيب. Now let's look carefully here. If we are using the same dose, so product A and product B are having the same dose of the same drug. Huh? It's very important 
that we are talking about the same drug. We cannot compare two different drugs. So if we are using the same drug and the same patient and the same dose, so those can go with those. طبعاً الشرط the provision here or the condition is that those A and those B are the same. Otherwise, we will keep them. طيب, you remember that K, L, and V are related to drug and patient. مش formulation to drug and patient. طيب, I am using the same patient or the same subject and both of them having the same drug so I can remove this one with this one. Sorry, not with A, you see, with this one. Okay. So I can remove this one with this one. شو بضل عنا A U C A على A U C B. So what we get here is either called had a ratio. We either call it as absolute bioavailability, absolute bioavailability. Or relative bioavailability. Is that the the ratio that we get from here is either absolute uh, or relative bioavailability. طب متى بيكون? When do I call this? Uh, when I divide the AUC of A by AUC of B, when do I call it absolute? And when do I call it relative? Pay attention. I call it absolute, lul mutlaq, absolute, when the reference, your reference, lul product B, is administered by IV. Yani AUCB here refers to ish, to uh, a drug administered through IV injection. Yani this represents the whole uh, drug that entered the uh, systemic circulation, the whole dose. Okay, isn't when my reference or when my FB is actually the drug administered by IV, then this relative bioavailability, which I calculate by H by dividing, dividing AUCA على AUCB, will be referred to as absolute bioavailability. When it's any other extravascular, any other extravascular. يعني for example uh, intramuscular oral uh, subcutaneous whether it is the same as the, the route of administration of A A may be oral oral by intramuscular it's, it, that is relative or oral على oral and that's the usual case you, you compare similar things oral divided by oral this will give you relative Oral divided by subcontinuous, this will give you relative. Okay? But oral or intramuscular or subcontinuous divided by IV gives you H, absolute. Okay? This has to be clear to you. Isn't when my AUC is coming from an IV injection, then this ratio we call it absolute. When AUCB comes from any extravascular administration, then we call it H relative. Okay? طيب, uh, let's uh, solve the following example. In the test product, the AUC of this test product is 12.4 milligram per hour على liter. شوفوا, it's concentration multiplied by time. Okay? Uh, طبعا uh, AUC A, A can never can never be IV okay it can never be IV it's any extravascular administration dose that is given 250 milligram for B AUC B it's 14.1 milligram per but the dose is 200 so now I have different dose so how do I calculate the uh, F, ratio F? Ratio F, اللي هو F A على F B, by dividing A U C A على A U C divided by, uh, هنا, sorry, A U C A 
divided by AUC B. Okay, multiplied by those B divided by those A. So this is the value you get. My question, is this uh, absolute or relative? What is your answer? Is it absolute by availability or relative? Taban here it's not given that your uh, B product is an IV injection. So you cannot say, right? But in any way, if it is absolute bioavailability, if it is, I'm talking about absolute bioavailability, the value cannot be more than one, the ratio. Mean bear of flesh, why? It cannot be more than one. Who knows? The reason is for an IV for an IV uh, injection, F here, the maximum F is 1. FA, which is an extravascular administration, the maximum it can reach is 1, otherwise it is less. So here 1, here it's 1 or less. فبالتالي, the answer will be always up to 1 maximum. Okay? For relative, if I'm comparing relative, it can be less than 1, but also it can be more than one. Leish, because maybe my test product AUC is bigger than the reference product AUC. Uh, for example, my, maybe my intramuscular administration is better than the oral administration. Okay? So in this case, it can be more than one. So if I'm talking about relative, it can be more than one or less than one. If I'm talking about absolute, it can never be ish more than one. I hope this is clear. Type from urine data, you learn the following. You learn that Fe, who fraction excreted, is equal to U infinity, I will amount excreted, divided by the dose, or it's better to say here, F dose, how much enter the systemic circulation, F dose, is a fraction excreted, is actually how the amount that goes into urine, in the eventually, divided by how much enter the systemic circulation. Uh, this, the, the amount that enter the systemic circulation, it will go to the urine, and some of it might be metabolized as well. Okay? For the fraction excreted, I'm talking about only excretion, will be the amount excreted divided by how much entered the systemic circulation. Okay? It's very important that when we talk about using urine data, that this fraction excreted should be more than 0.5. Yani يكون في هناك significant amount of the drug excreted in order to get some accurate results. Okay? فمعناته 50% of whatever reaches in the systemic circulation will be removed by excretion, at least 50%. طيب, let's look at this equation. You will see here F. So F can go out, up. Fe will come down. صح؟ بصير عندنا ايش؟ بصير عندنا F تساوي ال U infinity divided by Fe في الدوز. طب if I want to divide if this is now I want to look at the ratio because as I uh, expressed previously we calculate F by comparison. So Fa divided by Fb will be equal to U infinity اللي هي هي نفسها. U infinity A على Fe A uh, multiplied with those A. Type divided by Fb, بصير multiplied وبعكس. I reverse the parameters here. So it will be Fe B if those B if U infinity B. Type شوفوا. In case I'm using the same dose for the two products. Bader, I can delete this one with this one. صح? Type. The other thing, Fe, whether it's uh, A or B, is actually command the other equation for Fe, اللي هي إيش? 
اللي هي كي اي ديفايدد باي كي ال طيب this one اللي هو كي اي اند كي ال ار ريليتد تو تو ثينجز شو هم patient or subject and the drug I am using طيب am I using the same drug yes I'm using the same drug I'm using the same patient yes I'm using the same uh, patient or subject so in this case I can also remove F, F B and F A so the uh, answer here will be H U infinity A divided by U infinity B طيب Is it relative or absolute? Type when my product that I administer is by IV, so I'm comparing product A uh, with product B. Product B is administered by IV. Product A is any extravascular administration. In this case, you will have absolute bioavailability. Leish, because I'm comparing it to an IV injection. اللي هو الاف تا راح يكون 1 طيب if i'm comparing my product a with another reference product which is administered by any extravascular route in this case شو راح يكون عندنا البايو افيلابيلتي that we calculate relative it will be relative okay let's see an example we have 250 milligram dose for product A and product B. نفس الاشي. Ah, dose نفس الاشي. Is an I can remove this and because I'm using the same subject, I can remove this. طيب ال U A the amount excreted for product A is 175, while for product B it's 183. اللي هو reference تاعي هو. So what is your F? F will be just simply 175 divided by 183, and the answer is 0.96. Can I determine if this is absolute or relative? I cannot. If it is more than one, yes, I will say a shah is a kanat akhtar min wahad. If it is more than one, I will say that this is relative. But if it is less than one, it can be relative or absolute. Okay? Lano el absolute is up to one. Okay. Most of what you see in uh, books, for example, when they uh, tell you, for example, digoxin uh, capsules uh, has a bioavailability of, let's say, uh, 0.96. Type hi, it will be relative or absolute? It will be absolute. Isn't anything you see will be absolute unless it is. We are telling you that this is relative. Okay, is an generally any value you see for f is absolute unless we tell you relative and also we need to tell you relative to what? Ah, مثلا oral to intramuscular or oral to another oral for two products. Is it clear? Okay, this is an additional homework that I will try to solve it together now. In evaluating different dosage forms of procainamides, is an empty different dosage form. Okay, the following AUC and urine data was obtained. So for procainamide, in a tabel IV, the dose 500, طلع عنا إيش ال AUC 13.1, the amount excreted 332. For oral formulation, شوف الدوز عطوها قديش 1000. The AUC طلع 20.9. The amount excreted is 586. There is another formulation, oral formulation. They gave it to the subject, and the resulting AUC was 19.9, and the amount excreted was 554. Okay. Now. شوف هون estimate both the absolute and relative bioavailability of the formulations from both plasma and urine data. كيف من الحل هاي؟ Okay, first let's calculate the absolute. Ah, 
الابسوليوت من البلازما ومن اليورين داتا طيب كيف حكينا we will calculate f absolute we need to divide طيب اول شيء نتطلع على البلازما داتا هاي formulation 1 اذا خلينا نحكي هون for formulation 1 او خلينا نحكي formulation 1 طيب هذا formulation 1 شو الابسوليوت باي افيلابل تاعته من البلازما داتا it will be ايش 20.9 divided by شوفوا الاي في رحت على الاي في اخذت الاورال عشان انه ابسوليوت اي هاف تو ديفايد ات باي اي في فراح يكون 20.9 divided باي قديش 13.1 سوري نوت 1 20.9 divided باي 13.1 and it's equal to ايش طبعا هنا I forgot something who can tell me we will see that the doses are different so I have to multiply here into 1000 divided by 500 and this will give you calculator Okay, 20.9 divided by 13.1 equals to, when drop up half, multiply it 1000 divided by, and we multiply it by 2. And it's equal to, uh, let me احنا, طلعوا هنا عنا 3.19. طيب, where is the mistake? Who can tell me? Okay. Uh, one second. Okay, I should multiply by H. Multiply 500. Ah, uh, no, it is the IV1. 500, the IV1 divided by 1000. And then I can get the uh, number. يعني نص 500 by 1000 is half so again 20.9 divided by 13.1 equals and then multiply it into half بيطلع عنا ايش f.7977 يعني تقريبا 0.8 تقريبا بس خلينا نكتبها 0.798.798 اوكي طيب now what we did here is the absolute bioavailability for formulation 1 from plasma data is in here now we are talking about the plasma plasma data we are calculating the absolute طيب نروح على formulation 2 Formulation 2 طيب هاي الحالة ال F راح تكون برضو using plasma data okay we will have 19.9 19.9 اللي هو ال AUC divided by تاع ال IV نفسه هذا okay it's the same as this one I'm talking about absolute طيب برضو ضرب 500 على 1000 why why 500 uh, by 1000 because here the dose is 1000 while here it's 500 so it's multiplied 500 على 1000 let's uh, try it 19.9 divided by 13.1 equals and then multiply it into 0.5. بيطلع عنا اه very close but not the same طبعا. بيطلع عنا 0.75 بتصير 0.76 0. 
7, 6. Okay. إذن قريبين عن بعض. They are close. But not the same. طب هذا بالبلازما. طيب. I want now to do the same with urine data. Urine data. وبرضو بدي الابسوليوت. Okay. For formulation 1. Okay. Hi. Formulation 1. F will be equal to the amount excreted from formulation 1. Additional amount excreted, 586. Is an honor, 586. Divided by 332. 332. And then multiply by the IV dose. Divided by oral dose, and it will be equal 586 divided by 332 uh, equals, then multiply it into 0.5, and the answer is 0.88, 0.88ish. 0.883. Type. I want you to look at formulation one, absolute bioavailability from urine data. It's 0.883, and look at this one, اللي هو 0.798. طبعاً مختلفين هم. They are different. Type. Do we expect such a difference? Yes, we might expect such a difference. عادي. Uh, they should actually they should be the same, but these differences can happen. Okay, now why they can happen? Because we are dealing with uh, uh, a person. Okay, and uh, this person, its bioavailability can change because of maybe uh, disease, physiological factors, uh, kidney function. So small changes like that uh, can be expected, provided they are not so big. Huh? Number two, which one is more accurate? I will say this one is more accurate. Why? Lish هذا more accurate? Because here we are looking directly at the system, systemic circulation. But here we are looking indirectly at it when the drug goes into the urine. So for me, this will be more accurate than this. Both should be similar, but I do not I do not expect them to be exactly the same. Okay? Theoretically, they should they must be the same, but practically they should they they may be a little different. For formulation two, the F will be a equal to again five five four. 5, 5, 4, divided by 3, 3, 2, tile IV, multiplied into 500, divided by 1,000, and it will give you 5, 5, 4, divided by 3, 3, 2, multiplied into 0. 0.5, and you will get 0.83. 0.834. Again, you will see that here it's larger than here. Okay, we expect that there will be some difference, especially that not all of the drug will will be taken to the urine. So, بالتالي I can expect some uh, differences, uh, which is more reliable. طبعاً the AUC is more reliable. Why it's more reliable? The reason is AUC is directly comes after the absorption. I number one, and you are looking at all the concentrations. But for urine, part of what comes in the uh, systemic circulation goes to urine. So I'm looking at part of what goes out. Okay, because we have another part, which is what? Metabolism, which I'm not looking at. Okay. 
طيب now we calculated the absolute bioavailability you can calculate relative bioavailability كيف من البلازما okay by dividing the AUC of formulation uh, uh, 1 by the AUC of formulation 2 now the doses are the same so in this case if you if you do that okay now I'm talking about relative relative bioavailability and I'm talking about plasma data and I'm talking about formulation A F1 على F2 okay in this case it will be ish 20.9 divided by 19.9 20.9 19.9 here the same dose I'm using so multiplied into one I don't have to do that here and the answer will be answer 20.9 divided by 19.9 the answer is 1.05 شوفوا طلع قديش عندنا الجواب. We have it more than one. فهذا أكيد relative. I'm talking about relative bioavailability in this case. طيب. هلا someone might ask, can I do F2 على F1? Yes. Usually what you have here is the reference عادة. Okay. في المقام usually you will have reference and your test will be here. Okay. When we talk about urine, we do the same thing. Okay, you will take 586 divided by 554, and you will also get more than 1. So relative bioavailability can be more than 1. It can be less than 1. Absolute bioavailability can be up to 1. Okay, I hope uh, you understood the whole uh, presentation. As usual, if you have any question, Please do not hesitate to contact me or ask me during the lecture. Thank you so much.